Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to do my video on my emergency grab and go bag. This is the bag I keep for um, hopefully the, the time I never need to use it but if for any reason uh, there was something like a weather warning or um, a, a fire that required evacuation um, I can just grab this alongside my camping bag and my everyday carry bag and I'd be pretty set for probably 72 hours plus. Now this bag is designed to, to sit on the back of my mobility scooter so if I don't have my car handy because I do share my car with my sister um, then I could at least get away fairly easily. I have a 60 watt folding solar panel and a uh, small portable uh, solar generator so I could charge up my scooter uh, on the go if required and I do know where I would be heading if uh, if required um, some very good friends of mine who live down down the road in the farm would uh, more than happy to let me stay with them uh, if they've been moved as well then obviously it would probably be to some kind of evacuation centre but anyway on the bag I have a small tape measuring tape this is just a folding metal clip in here I just have a few matches with some cotton wool. Um, I have my usual key chain light and a hat and then on this side I have a microfiber towel, camping towel and a 500 milliliter bottle. I do have a thousand milliliter metal bottle. This is a single wall bottle, so I could use it to boil water for disinfection or for heating up uh, water for to make um, hot drinks or food with. Um, but like I say, I do have a thousand milliliter one, so I might change it out at some point. It's got bank line across the handle as a bit of additional storage and it also has a front pocket and a main pocket um, as well as the ability to hold crutches or walking sticks as well. So it's quite a useful little bag for my needs. So in the top of the bag I have my spare poncho. Um, this poncho can be made into a shelter. It does have eyelets on it, so it, it could, uh, like I said, it could double as a shelter if required. A few spare clothing items. I'm not going to bother pulling everything out because uh, it would take too long, but a basic scarf, some thin winter gloves. Uh, a change of basic change of clothes which includes socks t-shirts underwear um, if you want to change every day for 72 hours you're going to take up an awful lot of room so really the the guideline is to try and just keep it down to one change of clothes if you can maybe two <clears throat> if i'm going anywhere where i think i might need work gloves these are kept close to hand, so I can add those as well. And then just a basic uh, piece of cloth. It was an old pair of something. I forget what now, but um, I could use this as a filter for water um, or to clean out um, something like my coffee mug after it's been used. OK, the ability to heat water or to cook. Um, this is a homemade fire starter come um, cooking element um, it's just some cotton wool that's been dunked in old remains of candles that's um, candle wax um, I have a couple of those in there one's actually in the old tea light holder now these are solid so they could be awkward to get going so in order to help with that 
I have some ordinary cotton wool. I have a lighter. I have safety matches um, in here. I have some cotton wool with some petroleum jelly in it and it's wrapped up in some duct tape. All of those are flam flammable and could make quite a useful tinder to start a fire. Um, the cooker is the twin to the one that I had, that I have in my um, cooking bag. Uh, it has two fuel gels in it, um, as well as some uh, duct tape. And I also have a birthday candle. So that all that should give me the ability to either cook using the stove or light a fire. And again, that would give me uh, four different, uh, f four, then, <laughs> sorry, take my teeth out, start again. That would allow me to use my cooking sauce four times. That's better. Um, in here, I just have some random tissues. Uh, I tend to find that sometimes uh, tissues in boxes can get stuck and rumpled and if they do I just tend to put bung them in here so I've got extra tissues to hand uh, as well as uh, some extra gauze pads, uh, pads to my first aid kit which you'll see in a bit. Okay, communications. I have some very basic walkie-talkies, they're nothing special, but if for any reason I'm with my family or with some friends, then we do have the ability to perhaps stay in touch if, um, if we're going to be in slightly different areas. I have batteries for the walkie-talkies, as well as the instructions. The, uh, the laws on using walkie-talkies in the UK, if you go uh, the ham radio route, you'd need an operator's license. And I really didn't fancy going down that route. Um, so I just stuck with uh, basic, almost toy-like um, walkie-talkies. But in an emergency, they would at least give me the option of staying in touch with my family. I also have a CB radio that I keep close to hand so I could grab that as well if needed which would give me slightly better range although I only have one um, handheld uh, unit so uh, I would really be using that to try and contact other people locally. Okay my hot drink section first of all my mug this is a folder cup um, it's uh, they do a couple of different sizes. This is a small size, but it's you know it's an emergency kit. It's not, you know I don't I don't want to spend a huge amount on on items, but at the same time I do want items that I know are going to be fairly robust, and this is fairly robust. Alongside that, I have coffee, lots and lots of coffee. Um, I also have one coffee bag. I also have a uh, well pack. Um, one litre bag. I also have pure water purification tablets that we'll need swapping out uh, in the next month or two. Um, herbal tea bags and I do have a single sugar just a, uh, pack as well. Like I said on a previous video I don't take sugar but if I'm with somebody who does or if there's a diabetic who needs uh, something sweet then I have the ability to help them out. Alongside that, I have my cutlery kit, so a knife, fork, spoon, and just a uh, silicon uh, straw, nothing fancy. I forgot to add, this is a picnic blanket, so it is something waterproof that I could put on the ground as part of my shelter system, and I just hang this from the outside of the bag. This is just my miscellaneous kit. Um, I have a travel sewing kit, hairbrush, just an odd piece of cordage that came off something, uh, face cloth, flannel, uh, washcloth, whatever you like to call it, so part of the hygiene. 
what I do need to add for part of my hygiene is some soap. Uh, I need to, I have got a, some soap bars and I will be cutting some off one of those to add to the kit. And then knife sharpener also has the ability to sharpen um, knives that are serrated and it has a ferro rod. Again, another method to start a fire if required. And you just use the, um, the, the striker is one of these. So it's quite a useful little, little sharpener that. Okay, this is my tools equipment uh, bag. I have taken stuff out because there are a couple of uh, items best shown. Now, this is a useful little torch. The um, it's got a very bright, nice bright, but it also can be focused. It also has a flashing mode, which I don't want to really show you, but it also doubles as a little lantern, which is you know could be quite nice in an emergency situation. And also the O light baton, the trusty O light baton, not the cheapest torches out there. But they do the job. Um, and what I like about the O-Light button is the the way the clip works is you can put it onto a ball onto the uh, front of a ball cap, and it operates as a head torch. And in here, I have the leads for this torch and the O-Light torch, as well as a charging lead for my phone. And then in the Altoids tin, the ubiquitous Altoids tin, every emergency bag should have an Altoids tin of some kind. I have the charging lead for the one power bank. I have an additional mini USB lead. Um, I have a 16 gigabyte uh, flash drive, as well as a spare pair of headphones. Um, my ear canals are very small. So I find that particular type of ear earphones are the best ones for me. Uh, otherwise, they tend as other models just tend to fall out. They're hopeless. So I stick with what I know works. Um, some duct tape. Well, it's actually Gorilla tape, the one inch Gorilla tape. And I found that uh, one of my tea lights fitted in there nicely. So rather than have a waste of space. I just put that in there as an additional extra light or a fire starting source. I also have some spare batteries. These could be used in my radio, which you'll see at the last minute. Earphone, uh, earplugs, um, powered cord bracelet, so extra cordage emergency whistle, small ferrule rod which does actually give out a reasonable spark for a change and there's the striker which you can either pull out and remove or just leave in and go. It's up to you. But um, just gives, you know, it doesn't take up much room and just gives me redundancy. Electrical tape. The Acme Tornado, I can never remember what it's called. Whistle, emergency whistle. So I have two emergency whistles. So again, redundancy, or if somebody's with me, I can give that to them. This is a 10,000 milliamp uh, power bank. It does need uh, topping up, but it hasn't been used for gosh months. Um, uh, it has a little emergency light and it has the ability to charge two items at once. Um, and it's little brother, same make maker 
um, and again this one holds its charge beautifully um, I'm a big Anchor power bank fan but uh, these have been superb I got them uh, on a deal one one day and I've not been disappointed by them the only thing is that this charges up via a lightning cable which is in there um, and I don't have uh, any Apple products that use lightning cables so it's just another it's the old story of having another having to lug another cable around but it is as they say what it is uh, this is a 5000 milliamp per hour so again I can hand this to somebody or I can increase my own charging capabilities bearing in mind that I will have that 60 watt power uh, solar panel with me which I can't show you at the moment because it's uh, just over the road with a, a good friend of mine who's been borrowing it anyway red line uh, pocket knife multi-tool uh, not the best quality out there but again got to bear in mind this is an emergency kit so it's a bit of a compromise between something that I know will work versus the fact that I would love to be able to uh, replace it with a Victoria Knox but they're much more expensive um, a red uh, chem light basic pencil yes it's been snapped off but I can easily sharpen it with the uh, pen knife and then if I'm in anywhere where I've got the ability to get access to mains electricity or use my solar panel again uh, these are batteries for my uh, Olight so at least I can charge up the batteries that I need for my Olight so I have one working torch so these are the items that I keep in the front pocket um, of, of the bag First of all is uh, a bag of trash bags, rubbish bags, various sizes and also um, a few very basic disposable gloves that could be useful if you're, say, preparing food and uh, you want to help keep your environment clean. And of course, in this day and age, um, a 95 mask, some basic masks. And in there is um, some antibacterial gel. A notepad and pencil. I like this one because it's uh, got the solid covers. So it's a bit more robust than perhaps a, an ordinary a notebook might be tissues always going to have tissues um, medications um, these medications are um, my personal medications so I'm not going to take them out but I also have a few uh, extra over-the-counter uh, painkillers and I have enough personal medications to last me a week if required Okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Um, I tend to ca carry some freeze dried fruit with me. Uh, if for any reason I really didn't have a chance to grab um, my camping food supplies, then I've at least got something to snack on. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. And here we've got my first aid supplies. Um, tubey grip. I tend to have this for a bad ankle that uh, got damaged in an accident many years ago. But I can also use it for other first aid needs if required. And then my first aid bag has again a little key light chain. Um, gauze pads, something you don't necessarily see that often um, in um, UK kits but um, I decided to add one just in case 
so that's a um, trauma pad a copy of my prescription uh, painkillers gauze plas um, gloves this is a q-tip where the center is filled up with iodine so you can clean out a small wound with that if required i have a bottle of uh, antiseptic i have ordinary q-tip I have uh, trauma shoes, I have an emergency blanket, I have other gauze pads, I have a scalpel um, and I have of course the basic boo-boo band-aids. I nearly missed this. This again goes in the front, uh, the front pocket, just some um, wet wipes. Um, like I said, I, I do want to add some soap, but in the absence of soap, at least I have the ability to basic, get, a, get clean basically 12 wipes. So, um, you know, you've got enough there to last uh, 72 hours if required. And finally, last but not least, um, a basic little radio. Um, this helps you keep in touch with the outside world, but uh, I like this because it has uh, various settings. Um, it has a light. No, I want. Has a light. Has a red flashing light. Um, it also has a warning uh, emergency siren, which I won't activate because it is very loud and it would probably. Uh, panic my neighbour, which I don't want to do, but um, it uh, has its own small solar panel. You can also use the wind up part. You can use USB cable to charge up, uh, say, your mobile phone. It would take forever doing it with this, but it is an option. Um, but what I liked about this was you can actually get in to replace the rechargeable batteries and run it on ordinary batteries. You saw earlier in my tools uh, maintenance miscellaneous that uh, that's where I keep the batteries for these for this. Um, this is the bag I keep it in and uh, with the instruction manual as well as the lead that it came with again if um if i you know if i've got the capacity to charge it up using um electrical means either solar or mains power then i can so that's it that's the emergency bag that i have to hand there are other items that i keep very close to it so for example in the winter i have a pair of um ex-military I think German army over mittens that I keep close by so in the winter I would probably grab those as well in the winter I would probably grab my uh, camping poncho to wear under my waterproof poncho I generally have my other poncho with me at all times as well so I have the ability to either use one as a shelter and still wear one or give one to somebody else so really, like I said, my, my aim is to keep myself comfortable, but also perhaps uh, help other people as well if I can. Um, I'm very lucky where I live. People do help each other out. We've got a very good community uh, effort, um, especially noticeable when COVID hit. The town just pulled together like you wouldn't believe. Um, at, at all the people that were vulnerable or elderly were um, basically... Um, just given all the support they could have ever asked for uh, certainly more than the government ever gave um, so um, like I said we've I live in a I'm lucky to live in such a good area for that sort of thing um, and so you know what what goes around comes around and I'm firmly of the belief that uh, yes people can can take but they can also give um, I'm not terribly fond of people that uh, I know who just take, 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 but uh, for the most part, I do know that my friends and family would give as much as they take. Um, and so between us, we could 
survive reasonably comfortably. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up, giving me a uh, following as via subscription uh, and sharing the video or perhaps even leaving a comment. That's it for now. So until next time, bye for now.